Some of the obstacles that can be circumvented by hacking include turrets, cameras, and robots. All you need to do is find a security hub controlling these obstacles and hack it. Capture and Fortify programs are your main hacking tools. You can upgrade their ratings via hacking augmentations. A node's rating affects the speed at which the network can process it. Therefore, higher rated nodes will slow the network down. You can slow it down further by fortifying nodes, which will increase their effective rating. You can also use a slow worm to stop the trace process entirely for a few seconds. Finally, to prevent detection when taking over nodes, you can use the Nuke virus, which gives you a 0% detection chance. The Nuke and Stop programs are expendable viruses. Their supplies are limited, so use them wisely. A counter in the top right corner of the screen helps you keep track of them. When hacking, there are three types of nodes to capture. Directories are meaningless data holders. They serve no purpose other than to allow you to travel to your destination. APIs are system functions that can be used against the network. They can slow it down by spamming it, or they can lower node ratings to make them easier for you to capture. Data stores contain valuable information that can result in money, programs, or even experience points. Any reward you find on the system will only be yours if you succeed in hacking. Access granted. Otherwise, rewards cannot be downloaded and will remain on the system. Aside from cameras and doors, you will not be able to shut down any security device until you get the right augmentation upgrade. In order to unlock new abilities or augmentations, you must first gain experience in the form of XP points. You will receive these points when completing main objectives, side quests, or through special bonuses, like completing a mission without being detected. Once you've accumulated enough XP points, you will receive a Praxis point. These points are used to unlock upgrades to existing augmentations and to unlock entirely new augmentations. Praxis kits, which can be found through exploration or purchased in limb clinics, will also give you instant Praxis points. To unlock an augmentation or upgrade, simply select it in the augmentation screen, check the cost and, if you have enough Praxis points, activate it. When the lead starts to fly, it's wise to take cover. This will protect you from bullets and explosives. To shoot, peek out from behind your cover spot, either to the side or from above. Then take aim and fire. Whenever possible, use cover when moving around. Line of sight is important. And by keeping behind cover, you'll stand a better chance that enemies won't get a bead on you. Getting too close to any guard is a risk. You're better off staying far away from them. Learn their patrols and time your moves accordingly. If you can avoid it, it's generally better not to engage them. Sure, a lone target may be tempting, but you never know. Backup might be right around the corner. If you have no other choice, try taking out your targets silently. By moving up behind them, and tapping the takedown button to put them to sleep. Killing them is a more permanent solution, but also involves making more noise. To do it, simply hold the takedown button. Whether you kill or stun, all takedowns burn up energy. If your energy bar is empty, you will not be able to use your augmentations. You can, however, replenish your energy cells through the consumption of nutrients. Regardless, don't leave bodies lying out in the open. If they are found, an alarm will be called in. So grab them and drag them out of the way. When hacking, your goal is to take control of a device's registries so you can access the security codes within. To do it, 
You must navigate the network, capturing nodes as you go along. You begin a hack from your point of entry in the system, the I.O. port. To capture a node, simply place the cursor over it and hold the interaction button. A wheel will appear, showing you the programs that can be used against it. Traveling from node to node is accomplished using bridges. A bridge can be unidirectional or bidirectional, as shown by its arrows. Each time you capture a node, there is a chance the network will detect your presence. The higher a node's rating, the greater the likelihood that you will be detected. If detected, don't panic. You still have a chance, you just need to hurry. The network will try to trace your entry point and boot you out of the system. If you manage to capture the registries before the network trace reaches your I.O. port, you'll be okay. Access granted. At any point during the game, you can access the in-game menu. The inventory holds all the items you are carrying with you. It has a fixed size, which can be upgraded through augmentation. You can move inventory items around, examine them, or combine them with upgrades. In the heat of battle, you can rely on the quick inventory instead. It allows you to quickly equip a weapon or change grenade type. The objective screen details your current missions and objectives. The log screen is a repository of all the emails and books you read on your journey. The map is a helpful tool that allows you to see where you are in relation to your objectives. Useful locations such as merchants and limb clinics are also marked. The augmentation trees are where you can spend experience points to upgrade augmentations you own. Simply select an augmentation and choose which upgrade you want to buy. Upgrading augmentations can be done anywhere, at any time. Some objects in the environment can be picked up and moved. Use them to create paths to inaccessible areas, or as portable cover during a firefight. You can also throw them at the enemy, if need be. Before you can do anything, you must be able to get around. The first move you'll want to learn is the crouch. It will allow you to get into small spaces such as air vents, or to hide behind low objects so you can move about unnoticed. Jumping on objects or ladders is essential for getting to those hard-to-reach places. Sometimes going high or low is not enough. Sometimes you just need to go fast. You'll only be able to sprint for a few seconds at a time, though, so use it wisely. The objective screen details your current missions and objectives. In here, you can find extra information that may help you better understand what needs to be done. Missions can be activated or deactivated, depending on if you want them to appear in your radar or not. Deactivated missions can still be completed. After guards, security systems will be your prime area of concern, as they will trigger alarms that bring about heightened security. Trying to destroy these devices is a bad idea. Try instead to get around them. By timing your moves properly, you should be able to do so relatively easily. If an alarm does sound, guards will start looking for you. Fortunately, they won't sustain this level of alertness for long. Eventually, they will believe you fled the area and the alarm level will drop. Being stealthy hinges on sight and sound. When moving close to guards, try moving slowly to diminish the amount of noise produced by your footsteps. 
crouching down will assure you are making the least amount of noise possible. Line of sight is important, and by keeping behind cover, you'll stand a better chance that enemies won't detect you. Avoid jumping and sprinting, as it will certainly give away your position.